Hi, I'm Brandon Weitzel, and this is my colleague Alex Brown. And over the next few minutes, we will talk about some of the trends in Atlanta's current development environment, and then focus on the progress of a few developments in Atlanta's top submarkets. Atlanta's new development cycle is well underway, with 7,300 units under construction across the metro. After three years of minimal activity that put many projects on hold, a wave of pent-up development has elevated Atlanta's construction activity above its 10-year average. Following the national trend of reurbanization, 61% of the current activity is occurring in Atlanta's in-town neighborhoods. This trend should continue at least over the next few years with 77% of proposed properties located inside the perimeter. This focus on infill locations means smaller site sizes and higher densities. Developers are opting for prime, walkable sites even if it means costlier or vertical construction. The average site size for projects in the infill pipeline is just over four units per acre, and the average density is 79 units per acre. Conversely, there are only three properties being built at less than 50 units per acre inside the perimeter. One challenge that developers are facing is rising construction costs. Key materials such as framing lumber and drywall are up over 20% since last year. Land and labor costs are also rising. Much of these increases are attributable to a short-term shortage of supply and should retreat as producers of materials in the labor market react to the spike in demand. Many of these new projects will aim to establish a new ceiling for rental rates. Buckhead is one of the principal areas for development with 12 projects in the pipeline. JLB's 375 unit L of Buckhead, located on a prime site at the corner of Peachtree and Farr, was one of the first projects underway breaking ground last June. JLB plans to release its first units in January and has seen promising pre-leasing activity with effective rents of $1.85. Just down the road, Preserve Properties is building a nine-story podium project and plans to target an older demographic with larger units and average rents of $1,300 for a one-bedroom and $1,900 for a two-bedroom. The Preserve is in vertical construction and plans to deliver its first units in early spring. One of the most interesting projects in the pipeline is Camden's multi-phase PACES development, which will go up in place of a 250-unit aging apartment community. Camden acquired the prime 30-acre track for $39 million last August. Demolition is underway with construction on the first phase and expect to begin by the end of the year. The 376-unit Phase 1 will include a mix of mid-rise, seven-story tower, and townhome product. In Midtown, Atlanta's first built as rental high-rise buildings are being constructed. Novare's 23-story Sky House broke ground in February and is on its 20th story of vertical construction. Pre-leasing rates have surpassed pro forma rents of $2, a testament to demand so promising that Novare has jump-started site work on their second project, 106th Street, another 23-story high-rise nearby that was not expected to break ground until next year. Nearby, Daniel and Selig's 77th 12th Street is a 314-unit, 22-story tower that will be the latest addition to their Midtown Superblock. They expect their first units to be ready for occupancy in May. Growth is especially strong in Atlanta's hip East Atlanta submarket, driven by major amenities like the Beltline's Eastside Trail and Jamestown's Pond City Market, East Atlanta is quickly becoming a top choice among Generation Y. Two of the area's six new developments are underway, both located in the shadow of Pont City Market, expecting rents near $1.50. Both Amley and North American Properties seek to capitalize on the impressive growth surrounding their developments. In West Midtown, East Atlanta's counterpart on the opposite side of the CBD, Graystar is the first of five coming developers to break ground. Their six-story podium development, Elon Westside, will feature 197 units over 11,000 square feet of boutique ground floor retail. Thanks for watching. And for more information on the Atlanta's development activity or to schedule a WebEx overview of our city's new construction, please contact Brandon Weitzel or Alex Brown.